Hello and welcome to the Phantom Bone podcast featuring me, David Lynch, as your guest host. For <laughs> I can't keep that up for a whole show. Fix your uh, hearts or die. <laughs> welcome uh, to the subject of value. <laughs> watch my movies on your eye th- on your eye watch. <laughs> Yes. Yes. I'm David Dinch. I'm the bizarro version of David Lynn. <laughs> all of my movies will be all of my movies will be coming out in Fortnite. <laughs> Actually, no, it wouldn't even be Fortnite. It would be something else. It would be a competitor to Fortnite. Fucking Paladins. <laughs> Watch all my movies on Apex Legends. In this universe, Quibi is viable. <laughs> I was trying to figure out a way to get this. <laughs> Watch my new show on Quibi, Twin Peaks Season 75. Oh, God. Um, three It'll minutes at a time. Three thousand episodes. <laughs> it's the biggest show on Earth. <laughs> or Terra, as we call it, where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> on the smallest screen. Oh god yeah. damn it. Yeah, Quibi, what a what a fucking surprise that happens. Uh, uh, so are are any of us act- actually survived? No. Uh, or, I think no. we should take a moment of silence. <laughs> for, for as for long what? as a Quibi episode is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we take a moment of silence for the employees who were told to listen to <laughs> Trolls <laughs> World Tour to cheer yeah. themselves up. A song uh, controls not even toy. the one from the first one. He went with the sequel that was direct to all, not direct to. Uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, funny that he he tells him to listen to the thing that probably had some direct influence on killing Quibi, or at least was the uh, <laughs> beginning death knell for Quibi's ability to stay viable. Yeah, I just I yeah. even if COVID wasn't happening, what the fuck did they think was going to happen? Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's like who who it's again it's like. Who is this for and why? I think I think I know why they made it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. So my theory is that I mean it's a bad idea and it was poorly thing, Mm -hmm. but like so you know how like TikTok and Vine was like, oh these really short form clips basically that like Gen Z is into. Mm -hmm. There's like people, you know, hey we can make streaming services like that with like movies and shit, but it's like no, that's not no it's not gonna work. Yeah, no one wants that. Nobody want nobody nobody needs that. Uh, yeah. I don't I don't use TikTok, but I'm I'm guessing most of the people don't go onto it thinking like, man, I can't wait for the story to continue with my no, they don't. TikTok no, person. No, yeah. I like <laughs> I want, I want narrative but in short form, but it's like nobody really wants <laughs> no. In fact, most people who make series get bullied. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. Also like everyone weird. watches different things on TikTok. Like I had just started mm-hmm. like playing around with it. So it's like, oh I want to see what it is before the government takes it away. Yeah. Um mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, it like really found what my interests were super fast, which is yeah, why people want the thing. <laughs> and it was like, apparently I'm really interested in watching people rebuild cars that I didn't know that's something I want to watch, but I am very engrossed in. It's like, I just want to watch this guy take a sander to like a door and then prime yeah. it and paint it. I'm getting in my car and driving your house to beat you up, nerd. <laughs> Uh, it's like very, it's like very ASMR, but like cool. watching something somebody build something is like very. It was like I I found dude. There is a hashtag power washing, um, uh, on it where you just watch people power wash stuff. And We're learning things so about you satisfying. that I don't know if I wanted to know. <laughs> hashtag power washing. It is anyway. the weirdest thing, but like it is very satisfying if you've never power washed to watch the stuff go away. Dude, are we all losing our minds in quarantine? <laughs> I, I think that's what's happening. What kind of I, think, I think I think everybody is. Um, mm. I think yeah, I'm um, becoming more yeah. sane, actually. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like really close to just being full of Mad Max. Like, I, don't know. <laughs> yeah. I only I mean, sit in front of my computer like eight hours a day, and then the other day through mm-hmm. entirely parent teacher conference meetings. Uh, yeah, I don't know someone, what you're talking someone, about. Someone on the street like bumps into me by accident. I'll probably bite the ear off at this point. Yeah. Well, I'm just. <laughs> there's, I'm there's people you, in if, the street. If you let yeah. people in the street, um, if you let the uh, ligaments <laughs> in somebody's spine weaken, you can use it really well as a replacement for a chain. And then if you take that person's mm-hmm. skull okay, and joking. drive spikes through it, you have a really nice ball and chain made out so, of human bones. Joking aside, yeah. I don't like that you know that. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm I was just, gonna I'm, say, did I'm you just... read? Out, did you read that Wonder Woman book that came out a while ago? <laughs> no, no, I was just making a guess there because I mean, I figured the ligaments would eventually die out after a while, and all you'd have is oh, kind of a, I don't a fall like that you have spine. approximate knowledge. <laughs> that is legitimately what she does in this book, except. Can you guess the skull and uh, spinal cord she uses that would make the best weapon? A calabac? I don't know. Uh, She is the only living part, like, superhero left in this book. I have no oh, idea. She, okay, so she uses Clark. Giganto. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Who wrote this? Frank Miller? Uh, no, it's actually <laughs> a really, really, it's like, I think it's called, like, Dead Earth. I'll have to look it up. It's, like, really cool, and it's, like, Basically, Mad Max, but what? It's Wonder Woman. Oh, is it a? It's not deceased. Dead no, it's not deceased. Okay. It's a different okay. thing. It's like a standalone. It was a black label book. It's deceased. Okay. Uh, deceased. Oh. <laughs> Cease and deceased. The book that you're when you're reading, you're like, uh, oh wait, this is the same guy who wrote The Injustice. Um, no, it's called <laughs> Wonder Woman: Dead Earth. Okay. Uh, nice. Well, then I'll have to, the card is a weapon. Yeah, she and his spine. She like, I think she takes the lasso and like weaves it through and makes why? a mace out of it. Even Batman that, wouldn't do that. Huh. Why? Why? Because um, she's Amazon, man. Because she, her, like, she's almost powerless in this. Oh, she's okay. like, she's like slightly more powerful than humans. So what? What's better than that to her is her good friend. <laughs> probably skull the corpse of your call. good friend and ally. Hey, I mean, He's dead. Hunter, not, not to make it dark, but in a similar situation <laughs> <laughs> where I had access to your spine and skull, I'm not going to say I wouldn't do the same thing. But, okay. I'm not going to say I, I wouldn't. I, I'm but, giving full permission. Fucking, um, that's I'm a lot of full, rope, though. It is. <laughs> yes. I'm giving I'm full I'm permission to use my body as a weapon. Arvin's, Arvin's I, mean, bunker, I'm like, yeah. I need the hunter leg. I gotta fight some raiders. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we will construct your body into like a tank or I mean, a motorcycle if yeah, we need the, to. Called the uh, hunter killer. Yeah. I, I just give my spine to whoever becomes the shaman of the new tribe because they can drink my <laughs> spinal fluid to get uh, the after effects of all the LSD I've taken in my life. He's, he's so. he's like, Arvin, we got, we got raiders outside. Boot up hunter bot. And he's like, eh. <laughs> What's up? Boot up the so, flesh, fuckers. <laughs> I was like, it's a lit, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> to, uh, I guess, get it onto some form of <laughs> track here, has anyone watched anything interesting recently? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? So, I've still been watching Doom, Doom Patrol. Love mm-hmm. it. Oh, it's fucking so insane how, insane how dark and also, like, very like emotional as shit gets. Mm-hmm. Um I think one of the last ones I watched was with the sentient town. That's like oh. non oh, D- Danny the Street. Yes. Yeah. Um Yeah, I I haven't gotten that far, but go ahead. Yeah. Also I finished Lovecraft Country, which yes. Connor hasn't yeah. finished. But I, I gotta I have to start. I, I gotta I gotta catch up. Uh oh, man. There's so many there's so many T V shows to watch. <laughs> no, you no, I get that, but this is the only one you need to watch. Yeah. yeah, that it's it's important to watch it because it's really fucking good, yeah. <laughs> like better than I could have ever thought it was going to be. Like going yeah. in, and mm-hmm. that's not that I thought it was going to be bad, but it was just like, all right, let's see what this is. Oh my god! Like, I'll put it this way, the mm. effects are fucking amazing. But like, fucking yeah. the gore the effects of the gore is like impressive because like how the fuck are they like do that? <laughs> And then it's like I, the writing's good, the acting's mm-hmm. good, the mm-hmm. music, yeah. the soundtrack, like everything's fucking. I think about it is good. Yeah, I want to watch it just to like see this guy that's going to be playing Kang. Like I want to see oh, him. Hey, listen, not, uh, beyond, like, you that, you're gonna you're gonna get more than you expected when you watch it. You're like, what? The, oh, yeah. Why did it? <laughs> this show yeah. just like mind fucks you, but it's also like, I don't know. There's just crazy. so much. Like what Hunter said, there's just so much to you. He's like, I haven't even started. What was that other HBO show? Uh, Raised by Wolves. Raised yeah. by Wolves. Oh man, I haven't yeah. seen that yet. Yeah, I still yeah. need to catch up on it. It's that good. Is, uh, um, yeah, it's that's, good. 
that's aggressively a uh, 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 not Tony Scott. Um, <laughs> Tony Scott? Yeah. Ridley, uh, Scott. Ridley, Ridley Scott. Scott. Yeah. If Ridley it was Scott. Tony well, Scott, they're... then uh, it'd be the really right. things would happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. From the grave. <laughs> He's writing it from his his watery grave off of the bridge. Um, right. Yeah. No, it's it's aggr- aggressively a Ridley Scott thing. And the last episode of it definitely tells you how much of an aggressively Ridley Scott thing it is. It's good, though. Like it's great um, sci-fi. Is it very like drama or is it like action in it also? Um, no, there's there's a good mix because you've got like I mean, it, do you guys know what the premise is? I know I that, um I, some androids kind of like raising a human in space or some shit in the future. There yeah, the idea is that like um atheists are kind of a rebel army because <laughs> what? the last of the humans are all of these crazy super religious huh. people. And hmm. this android, was, these two androids were sent <laughs> out with viable fetuses to uh, basically raise new atheist children. Hmm. And uh, it's the story of what goes on there. And really? It's, I, oh. I don't want to go any further than that because there's a lot of twists and turns and it's it's really and quite good. Ridley Scott know, is like, religious stuff. Yeah, yeah. He, he's got to be obsessed with androids because like it, it's in he, everything yeah. he does. Yeah, yeah. He well, is. I, it probably is like when he grew up and how big like Philip K. Dick and all that stuff like popped for him, yeah. like at a yeah, prime man. age. Yeah, man, there's something I, mean, I can I was... say, but you guys haven't seen it, so it'll. I'm just gonna say, Hunter, yes, you are correct, and I will leave it at that. <laughs> well, I mean, so I, we were actually talking about this earlier, me and one of my siblings, um, and I was joking that maybe he just uh, accidentally masturbated to Rutger Hauer one day, just. <laughs> Just, just <laughs> accidentally yeah accidentally. accidentally he was looking at footage at dailies on his own and he was just you like don't, you don't do that by yeah. accident man no, that's, 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 it is on. roger howard so you do I that mean, with a purpose like, yeah. yeah i have a gold um, mind <laughs> yeah and his brain was uh, forever fixed on androids because it's that oh, one God. scene where he like starts skitzing out um at the very end um, the, th- the thing is why would he why would he do it specifically to Rutger Hauer when Daryl Hannah is just as good at that, yeah. that, that that was the joke in the moment when I told well. it that it was <laughs> that it wasn't Daryl Hannah he's like yeah, yeah. He was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we got a five from the Russian judge on that one you, you know <laughs> jokes are way funnier when you have to explain <laughs> <laughs> right. I told it in the room. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, hey, listen, it was a better. Hey, listen, Arlen. Um, I don't. I don't care what he says. I think. I think it was funny. <laughs> yeah. Look at this guy. No, you're, you're always on my side, and I very much appreciate that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'd, I would love to talk more about Lovecraft Country, but unfortunately, I think is a yeah, I don't spoil it. I don't spoil and anyone. Arlen are the only ones yeah. who are completely I, up to date on it. I, want, I, I do want to see, I see the rest of it, because like, well, that, I, that I first wanna... episode, even the opening, yeah. is like so strong. Mm-hmm. I think I might so, power through it this week. When, when everyone has watched it, I want to be back on so we can discuss it, because yes. there's so many things to talk about mm-hmm. that are cool as fuck, and it's just like hard to like not... I don't, yeah. Like, yeah. It's one of those things you have to experience for yourself. I don't want to overhype mm-hmm. the show, but you know, it's just a decent TV show. But like, there's just certain specific things they do that's really cool. It's, mm-hmm. like, yeah. Well, yeah. Just, yeah. Go ahead, somebody. somebody I, was sorry. Gonna, I was just gonna say, like, it's been like hard for me to do some like the darker stuff right now. So like, it's yeah. just okay. Like, Lou, I'm gonna dis- dispel that up for you just a little bit because it's not really that dark and with like a capital well, D. There are moments that are darker. But, yeah. It's not, I guess maybe uh, like maybe dark is the one, maybe like heavy. Yeah, yeah is yeah, more of yeah, the term. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely heavy in the sense that like it's forcing you to look mm-hmm. at the um, yeah the, what Jim the American Crow. past and yeah Jim mm-hmm. Crow and just race. You're like saying in you're America. like saying a whole bunch of words that are mm-hmm. like things I want to watch, oh, um, okay. especially because I'm literally. I think I'm starting the Civil War unit in my class this week. Oh, so you're gonna make make them watch Glory with the uh, with the uh, <laughs> White Savior? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Who killed people yeah. in Ireland or whatever? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say, are we gonna start talking about like all the different the movies? Yeah. What's <laughs> how, what's the not because there's Birth of a Nation and what's the other one done by the guy who's like raped a bunch of people oh god that one's what? also called birth, birth, birth of a nation okay they're both birth of a nation yeah. okay so yeah, both they are both birth, I, I, <laughs> yeah i i do still want to talk about lovecraft countries a little bit because i just want to point something out 
when it's not the stuff that is kind of heavy, it is like a summer blockbuster and... every week. Yeah. Like oh. every week, it's, and it's a different kind of summer blockbuster. Yep. None of the none of, none of the episodes are like adventure. filler. There's no filler and no bad episodes. They're all just like uh, that's no, awesome. yeah. And Spending and it. everything everything comes together at the end too. Like mm-hmm. everything you've seen in prior episodes, it it well, I mean, not everything, but I mean, it each episode gives characters all their own spotlight, and then everything yeah. connects in the end. Yeah, yeah. Um, it all it all with, it all with, works together perfectly. Without spoilers, I, I can just say that like. It does deal with heavy shit with the you know, racism and shit like that, but it also like it's not all that. Like there's also yeah. empowering moments where like holy shit, there's like mm-hmm. you know well, uh, yeah. if they do anything they, like what Watchmen did, which it did, hey, look, those shows yes. are basically almost connected because they both deal with Tulsa, they yeah. both have yeah. like, mm-hmm. racism I, and like yeah. te- in Texas and shit. I would actually I was... say Watchmen is heavier in a couple of places. Yeah. Than, yeah. I've than, actually thought yeah. about re watching Watchmen recently. I have too, actually. Yeah. yeah, those shows are really similar in a good way. Like, mm-hmm. like they're both kind of like in the oh. same like flavor of like, hey, this is not. Oh, I definitely anything. see that because like I feel like Alan Moore definitely takes a lot of Lovecraftian aspects into mm-hmm. Watchmen, and like that mm-hmm. show takes a lot of that kind of stuff in there as well. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it definitely yeah. does. Uh, I'll say yeah. okay. This is one thing I'm gonna say. One last thing. Um. So like yeah, it does deal with heavy shit, but it also like spotlights good things about you know history. Like um, it's there's mm-hmm. a lot of characters and references that are like real historical black people. Like um, there's minor spoiler. There's yes. one part with like one character Hippolyte is driving, and there's this like black woman on a motorcycle. that like drives next to her mm-hmm. and kind of winks at her, and that's a real woman. I forgot her name. It was um Beverly something? I... She's like the first. Black women to like ride cross country in a motorcycle, but like I figured that was somebody real, but I never actually took the time to do the research. Yeah, I didn't know it until like I looked like somebody pointed it out. I was like, oh, Mm -hmm. there's a lot of references to real people in the show. Yep. Yeah. They there's even there's even like a cameo from well not there's actors playing them, but like Frida Kahlo and like Josephine Mm -hmm. Baker and shit. So it's pretty cool. Yep. Are the are the the Cthulhu's real? Oh um, God! Shut up! I hate you. People, people are going to dream sequence, but there's other the creatures and monsters and things that are like you know. Well, no, I, is a, he's referencing a, an article I'd posted in uh, the one chat we were in. <laughs> it was from Esquire, I think, and this person was talking about the show, and they were saying it's good, but they're like, and from my research, the the uh, the Shogoths, the Shogoths, Shogoths, whatever they are, Shogoths. Yeah, the uh, yeah. the things that are running around the forest in that first episode. They're like, and from my research, those are called Cthulhu's. <laughs> it, was, it was something like that, where it's like, <sighs> no, that is that is exactly what they were saying. They're like, so there's a whole bunch of those Wait, Cthulhu's sit- in the forest. Look, I've done much research. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, it's mm. terrible, and I hated this person. I mean, they googled once, and they were like, "All right, the research is yep. done. <laughs> yep, we're done. We're done. We figured it out. Let's let's wrap mm-hmm. it up, guys. Esquire is the greatest magazine on earth." Um. Yeah, no, right. it's it's. I think I think like Lovecraft Country is really important too because it's, with the exception of a couple of white people in the first two episodes and then just one or two reoccurring ones throughout the series, like it's showing more and more audiences that hey, there's actually a very large swath of people who aren't white who would like to have yeah. I don't know horror and sci-fi shows that center around yeah. them because they can offer mm-hmm. their own perspective and interesting stories David like, uh, a friend invited me to a Facebook group and it's like mostly black people in it that watch the mm-hmm. show and it was like very interesting to see like how many people are excited about it you know yeah 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 it makes sense like it's yeah. it's yeah. I'm good on HBO because I mean I'm Watchmen and this like are, <laughs> were kind of a yeah. big fucking chance for them, and I think they've paid off really well. Yeah, yeah, because it's like you can still like have a, a successful show that it's like, mm-hmm. hey, you can have black people in sci-fi stuff. It's not, yeah, it's exactly. not just like one character, you know? Like, yeah, you don't you don't have to have just one character who is whatever vaguely racist stereotype you want to use, or have them killed off within the first five seconds because they're a exactly. red shirt, like in Star mm-hmm. Trek. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's refreshing. It's oh, it's, it's nice to it's see. It's my new game in uh, watching movies and TV shows from the past, and like mm-hmm. counting to when I see someone of color and how then how long they're on camera. So when we watched Hocus mm-hmm. Pocus, it was, uh, I think, an, it's an hour and a half movie. It was an hour and ten minutes, and they were on screen for like 0.5 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> 
well the other the other aspect you should add to that game is how bad of a stereotype are they um, it was in, yeah. okay, the I'll explain. Also not black. It's like, uh, it was yeah. an Asian man dressed as Bruce Lee in the Halloween party. Oh uh, no! Oh, oh god! Oh, oh god! Damn. <laughs> damn, they did it. Well, Good job, Disney. And I'm Why? assuming yeah. it's just Bruce Lee, but he was just in Asian garb, and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna gosh. give it to them that he's Bruce Lee. Yeah, you don't yeah, know. You yeah, can, we don't you know. Hope. Yeah. You can hope. You can hope. So, anybody else been watching anything interesting, or do you want me to go? Or uh, I, um, I, I'm trying to oh. think. There's something that I watched, but you know, go ahead. Somebody go. All right. Well, I, um, oh, go ahead, Arlen. I oh yeah, uh, I watched quite a bit of Hellstrom actually, like last weekend. How is that? It's wait, that came out. Yeah, <laughs> it, came out. Yeah, it did come out, man. I I would describe it as aggressively fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> Like, I legitimately, crazy. I'm curious because, like, I obviously like I watch all the comic book shows, do not show up mm-hmm. in my Hulu feed as I'm watching a show on Hulu. Really? No, it, it was on my wow. front page. Otherwise, Same. I wouldn't have seen it. I, I, my thing is like, I, I like the character in the comic. He's mm-hmm. cool, I guess. Like, it, like, but like, Are you fucking right. edge lord. <laughs> he's like, cool. My he's cool. I've literally um, never read anything with the character, and he's I cool. I can't recall what else know is. the if the if you told me that the character was Marvel before me knowing that, I would have been like, oh, because like the only hint is that you see a Roxxon convenience store at one point, and everything else is completely disconnected. Um, um question: What's Hellstrom again? I don't even remember. He's the son of Satan. Yeah, he's the son of Satan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't know if it's this way in the books, but they divided hellstrom into two characters i'm assuming that's, well, he has a, he has a sister in the comics yes okay he does have a sister so they are both yes. the and, children of satan okay yes um, i just when it comes to hellstrom I'm like do do you really need a t show tv show like like i agree he's, this, I, the, well, I think the idea was at some point this was going to be them opening up like the post doctor strange magic dark universe stuff the, there was there were other shows if I'm not mistaken. It was a, there was a, supposed to be a, yeah. a Ghost Rider show which got with Diego Luna, mm-hmm. which, which is crazy. Right, Luna. Yeah, yes. Diego Luna. Yes, there was um, that, and I think there was going to be a Blade show before Mahershal was like, yeah. no. And then yeah, when Mahershal came out, <laughs> and then Diego Luna blew up. I think they were like, I'm going to cancel the Ghost Rider TV show, but they never said they were going to mm-hmm. stop him being Ghost Rider. So I think maybe that guy, they haven't said, and then they canceled all those cartoons, except for mm-hmm. MODOK, because that was already made. Which MODOK looks like fucking robot chicken. Um, yeah, anyways. it's a claymation, yep. but it's yeah. Pat Oswalt. So the result is that uh, Hellstrom was produced and came out, and I think it's the last Jeff Loeb production. I think it is. Oh, yeah. God. Sure. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, it feels like one. <laughs> I'm it pretty sure like... the, the the lead of the show's biggest credit before this was an E the E the network uh, scripted show with Elizabeth Hurley, <laughs> uh-huh. um, what? Where, where he oh. plays like a bodyguard for the royal family. I only okay, know this we... because my wife loved the show. Of course, of course, you do. I had no idea who this guy was. Um, um, man, so... I, is it called Royals? It's something like that. That sounds right. Yeah, I've only seen commercials for that show. Yeah, so... the, the Royals. Mm. Mm. I'd yeah. suck that E actually had scripted anything on there. I thought it was it's just Tom well... Austin. It's like their only scripted show, and mm-hmm. Elizabeth Hurley plays the Queen. Okay. And then I really... don't know any of these other they people. Did, they only did one, and they, they just kept on going. Well, you should know Daniel Cudmore. Uh, because he was two of the um, uh, what's the metal guy from X Men? Colossus. Forgetting Colossus. Colossus. Yes, <laughs> he was a Colossi. He was two of the Colossuses. That's um, crazy. And cool. he's he's in this show as a demon that eats people with his stomach. I think. Hell yeah! With his tummy. Uh huh. His stomach opens up and he like engulfs them and like he hungry. Yeah, him? so the lead, yeah. I'm saying he was in the Borgias as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then he's been yeah, in yeah. a couple other shows, and he played Tim Drake in Batman Arkham VR. 
Yeah. Um, so before looking him up and you saying all this, I assumed that he was British doing an American accent based on I'm, his performance. Uh, I'm pretty I, sure he I, is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he's he's very boring and just there. Um, the actress who plays his sister, Sydney Lemon, uh, yes. she's actually not bad. She's very good in the show. Um, she's from I Fear guess... of the Walking Dead. I'm look. I have her oh. idea be up pull, pulled up right now. Well, you know, hmm. anybody will seem great if they're playing off a plank of wood as they're uh, <laughs> selling it's it to like, us. Wow, she's actually acting. Is yeah. that what she's doing right now? Um, I, I, one could argue Tommy Wiseau would be good in that show if he was playing mm-hmm. against South Plank of Wood. Let's not say anything great. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at her and she's kind of perfect for that character with like this bob haircut I see. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, she's great. I, I can't wait to see her in other things that aren't this. <laughs> yeah, because um, like, if, if my memory serves, like, yeah. her character is more interesting than his and he's mostly just like I don't even know. Like Hellstorm to me is like, uh, like a oh, she was fuck boy Bell- demon. Uh, he's Hellstrom. Hellstrom has always been just that character that shows up, like in the at least in all the times I've read it, like when the Avengers need someone and they can't get Doctor Strange, like or Ghost Rider. Yeah, he's that's, more of a that's kind of his, uh, yeah. like a Silver Age thing than he is a yeah. Monday. Like he he showed up in the uh, in the New Avengers, the Bendis run from. God knows how many years ago, and he was pretty good in that, but it was for a short amount of time, and that's yeah. how I like my Hellstrom, for a short amount of time, which the <laughs> Hulu series is not that, apparently. To be fair, it is split between him and the younger sister, so like... Her, his no, sister's I, name I is Tana. Like, I, did, I wasn't watching the show in rapt, in, in rapt attention, I was building a bed while I was watching the show, <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> so yeah, I was like occasionally looking up, like, oh, that's interesting. Time to put these planks back in the bed. Uh, great. great way to pay attention. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. how you're supposed to watch Hellstrom. It comes right. up with a warning: build a bed while you're doing this. You will enjoy it more, and you Hellstrom. Will... Hellstrom yeah, brought you to you by IKEA. Seven episodes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's fine. You gotta put it, put I, it I, together in a fierce word. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very fastidious about like the rules of a supernatural world and how that works, and like none of that stuff bothered me. I can't uh, believe you would say something like that. I'm no, that's you of all people. Nobody, no one would ever suspect that. So like none of that stuff offended me. But again, it was just like okay. This is like every of the Netflix shows and the uh, ABC shows, but like aggressively in the middle. I, of I would all say, of that how stuff. dare you compare the Netflix shows to them? This sounds it well, no, sounds it, more like Cloak and Dagger. Here's the thing: it is all on the same continuum, Lou. When you want, if you were to watch them all back to back. If you were to, if you, if I put you in a room and had you watch them all back to back, you'd be like. Those are all more alike than I ever would have thought because it's the same guy primarily behind. I don't know. I feel like, and the tones are not actually that far off. The stuff that's different is like the Netflix shows have a little bit more blood, cloak and daggers, cloak and dagger. Uh, (laughs) It sure is. And and Agent Carter, like occasionally, they'd have an episode where they open up like a portal to the Uh, uh, the Nether Realm or whatever. Yeah, and I. I love Agent Carter. Well, not to not to be the bearer of bad news here, but with the second wave that's starting to look like it's really going to hit us pretty bad, you're probably going to have a viable amount of time to just sit in a room and watch Hell all yeah. of the Marvel TV shows <laughs> back Again? to back to back. Yeah, while you hey, question what's well, going on in the world. Kind of news wise, we're past the two year mark for Iron Fist, so that's true. And yeah. coincidentally, they announced that there's a new Iron Fist series comic book. Okay, well, huh? Well, it so it they're hinting be... at that they're going to be recasting Iron Fist. Oh, it's not like Marvel Disney's never done things with their comic book side that also merits stuff going on in the TV side. Like, oh, we don't have the rights to the X Men and Fantastic Four. We don't Kill make those them. comics anymore. Yeah. Oh, they're all dead. <laughs> Everybody's well, on was, different teams. That was also they all died from Terrigen. 
Hmm. Yeah. Well, that, are the comics still under Ike Perlmutter, or is he gone at this point? I can't remember. I he's I think the line one got cleaned out. He, yeah, he's in the room, but like if he says anything, people will just look at him and shrug, and then they'll go back to what they're doing. Ike, okay. Ike was sentenced to death, and he's just okay. currently mm-hmm. waiting trial. Yeah, oh, I yeah, think yeah, kind yeah. of like the same thing of what happened at DC, just like um, quieter and more, you know, uh, cleanly well, happened. Like yeah. I'm trying to think of the word, like the phrases, like yeah, it like happened the same, like the same cleaning of house, but like in a much nicer way and slower, in a much quieter way too, because we yeah. heard a little bit about it. Oh, and like Marvel yeah. Unlimited is now. Oh, after DC announces DC Universe Infinity, Marvel Unlimited all of a sudden drops in price. Mm-hmm. Oh no, um, no, it's the same price. Instead of six months, you only have to wait three months for new issues. Oh, oh hell Jesus yeah. Christ. That's what their that's what their thing was. Wow. Their it's like, oh, oh, okay. I see what you're doing over here, guy. Am I gonna have to get Marvel Unlimited again? God damn it. Three months is like nothing. It's nothing. Fuck. It's nothing. Yeah. Um, I, I've actually months. like thought about it, especially like if they did some mega combo, because they already have the the three one, right? With Hulu, mm-hmm. ESPN, and Disney Plus. If mm-hmm. they were just like Fuck it! Throw Marvel Unlimited in there for like two bucks. If I could, if Don't I could drop ESPN like, Plus, I would take. Yeah. I would take Marvel Unlimited in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't they both use what is it? X Comics or the which one? Whatever service is owned by Amazon. Don't Comicsology that is like Comicsology is like the it's the backbone of those services. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, like that's how they, um, they for they Marvel Unlimited. Stuff. Yes. DCs does their own thing. Like you have to, okay, unless yeah. they're changing it right now. It is actually like really goofy to. You can only you can't use the DC stuff on your computer. I think you can use unlimited mm-hmm. on a computer. The DC stuff you could only use on like a phone, tablet, or like an Apple TV or something like on that. An app or oh, like, uh, yeah, like an Apple yeah, TV. I think everyone has. Yes, yeah. the uh, mm-hmm. that's the way I like to read comics is on my TV. That's... Yeah, I want to read comics on my 60 inch 4K TV, like <laughs> scrolling with my Apple TV remote. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's painful. Um, yeah, I don't know. Has any, I, did you have anything else to add about uh, Hellstrom, or is it just it? It is. It's aggressively mediocre. It sounds like it's aggressively middle of the road. So I, I guess don't watch it. I don't know. I, I have a hard time telling people not to watch things. If it looks like your thing, go watch it. Go watch it. <laughs> do it. Just do it. Hey. Don't let anybody stop you. But at the same time, no, no, no. listen to me. Don't do it. <laughs> there are much better garbage things to waste your time with. I mean, right I, now, I, for most people, I think uh, most people would disagree. Like, uh, yeah, there's there's been a, a glut of really new, interesting things like that have been out. Like, it's this isn't necessarily yeah, newish, true. but yeah, we for, literally just talked about one. Uh, for me, like I just got a, a 30 day free trial to Amazon Prime Video, which I hadn't realized mm-hmm. I could subscribe to it via my iTunes account. So yeah. I just did that. Uh, and I started watching The Boys recently because oh, I've another heard show it's mine. really, really good. And it is like it is better than I could ever expect it to be based yep. on having read the comics. And I like The Boys, the comic series, but it is mm-hmm. it is far less Garth Ennis-y than I was expecting it to be. It's better. Oh, I honestly think yeah. Better. Ennis-y, yeah. That is like the best review you could give for it. It's less Garth Ennis-y. Yeah. It, like, don't get me wrong. Like, the comic, mm-hmm. uh, there are aspects of it I really like, but it's definitely points mm-hmm. where Ennis is just like, well, I gotta go, go mm-hmm. in here and Ennis it up. And it's like, oh, Garth, please. Oh, somebody, somebody needs to jerk a dolphin off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if I remember correctly, um, in uh, one of the <clears throat> issues that took place during Herogasm, um, there is <laughs> that's, a, that's there's a real a, thing. Yes, there's a lineup of unknown superheroes that are uh, going to. I believe the phrase the female that they're lining up behind says is, "Oh, that's right. Fuck my hump. Fuck my hump. You filthy pig." <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, it the comic's good though. I'm telling you, it's good. It has really good aspects of it. It's just you gotta get through the very end <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the show is really good, and all the things it takes away, it makes sense why they yeah. take it away, including yep. some of the bigger plot points of the comic. That I was like, well, how are they gonna do? Okay, okay. Like mm-hmm. in the comic, one of the big things is the stuff called Compound V, 
And yep. I'm on like the fourth or fifth episode of the show and they only just introduced it. And the idea is that in the comic, the compound V is the stuff that makes superheroes what they are. Like it gives people mm. superpowers. But so far in the oh. show, they haven't really talked about if people are using it or not. Other than the soups who do use it on the show, it kind of works like steroids for them. So it's like more it's, mutant growth hormone? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't, it's kind of it doesn't, multi-purpose. Yeah, it doesn't really give them different powers per se. It just amps up mm. the powers that they have. But yeah. it's it's a really great show. And so far what I've seen of the cast, they work great together. And Carl Urban is the perfect choice he's, for yeah. Butcher. Carl Urban, so he's yes. awesome. Yes. I, I mean, he's amazing in that show. I say mm. this just based off this one show. Um, but as far as I can tell, I think Eric Kripke knows how to handle Garth Ennis perfectly yeah, he seems um, to did he did he do preacher he didn't Some work no preacher, preacher is what's their names uh, but it, it's it is rogan behind both of Seth them. Rogan. Yes. Yeah. oh yeah i forgot yeah. he's behind the boys yeah, yeah. yes right. that makes sense and preacher uh, yeah. is awesome i love preacher, preacher. was great preacher was great mm-hmm. it yeah. it definitely had to shove a lot of stuff into the last season but it did it really well yeah. and it all made sense well i think they knew it was coming to an end so they were just mm-hmm. like run 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 Yep. But yeah, the boys is the boys is really great so far. And I mean, fuck, there's two seasons of it that are fully available now. So if you don't have Amazon Prime Video, get that 30 day trial and watch yeah. everything you can. If, and a then lot of people, it. if you have Amazon Prime, you have Amazon Prime Video. Yeah, well, we don't have Amazon Prime because we don't order enough stuff off Amazon to make it worthwhile. So that's uh, we why. order that's, a lot of like yeah. subscribe and save stuff. Yeah, it's, that's how we did dog food. And we'll be doing dog food again. It yeah, change. it's you know, it's we we get it from various other places. This is very fascinating talk for our nerd show. I, um, I'm supporting dog brick dog. and mortar, you goddamn commie. <laughs> I eat Alpo. That's all I yeah, eat. <laughs> with, with the with the mouth in your tummy. Yeah. Um yeah, uh outside of the boys, uh Monsterland on Hulu is really good too. I don't know if any of you guys have checked yeah, that I out. Gotta see that. It, see that. Yeah. yeah, it's on my list. Uh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's it's I've clicked past it like it's not it's not always like oogie boogie monsters but it's not always the real <laughs> monsters were man all along <laughs> right. like the walking the oh, walking dead was us yeah. all along yeah. exactly right it's, it's yeah we good, are the monsters guys well, it's a yeah. good mix of that like it it has okay. its episodes that are like oogie boogie monsters but then it also has the horrifying things that humans do and a lot of times it's yeah. just the monsters are like whoa what are you what are you doing <laughs> I, love, <laughs> like, I love the idea of yeah. like the monster being like all right dude chill <laughs> the monster yeah. slowly backs out of the room i'm yeah, just like, gonna I'm, take I can't a be step a, back. i can't be a party to this what the fuck is wrong with you but yeah, yeah the devil shows up and he's like I'll give you whatever you can wish for, but you have to give me your children. You get one wish each children. He's like, all right, what, what's wrong with you? I, was, I didn't mean it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What the fuck, man? I'm the <laughs> devil and you're doing this? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I think there's only like eight episodes, but yeah, it's, it's definitely worth mm. checking out. Like, my wife and I have yeah. thoroughly enjoyed pretty much every episode we've seen. I so, love yeah. shows that are eight episodes. Cause like, mm-hmm. rolling up, we just said, like, uh, we started, I think we're three, me and my wife are three episodes into Woke, and it's only eight episode season. And oh, nice. yeah. we talked about it before we start recording a little bit, but like it is so good. It stars uh Lamorne Morris, the best part of Bloodshot. Um, and it is he's a cartoonist and it's like dealing with this whole thing of like kind of uh with stuff and like the cast is so amazing because everything starts talking to him and mm-hmm. his characters in it because he's a cartoonist are toast and butter, and the voices of toast and butter are si- Sam Richardson and Tony Hale. I remember seeing trailers for this. I yeah. wasn't sure what it was about because they didn't go into this aspect of it's, it at all in the trailer. Yes. So basically, like, he's a cartoonist. He's about to make it big, and his cartoon Toast and Butter that was, like, a strip is about to get, like, turned into a cartoon and syndicated when he's putting up posters for him being at this con, and he gets, like, taken down by cops and the shit kicked out of him for oh, matching nice. a description. Nice. And then <laughs> that kind of makes him woke. Um... And then he kind of loses it, and his roommates are Blake Anderson uh, from Workaholics <laughs> and yeah. T. T. Murph. Um, and then yeah, it's so basically JB Smooth plays like the Sharpie that he uses to draw. Um, Rose McIver, who was in iZombie, is like in it. Um, 
Cedric the Entertainer plays like a trash can that starts talking to him because he goes to get like a haircut and it's all hipster white guys and he's like, "What the hell happened to this?" Like, it's like you know, um, Cedric's. It's like something, something in barbershop, and it's like literally like the most hipster people you can see, and it's just it, it is so weird and funny, and it's just filled with comedians and the art style and everything is so good and it's like really good current social commentary um just like on all sides it's like it's like he's like a hipster black guy dealing with like trying to have a career and then like industry doesn't want him to be woke and then kind of his girlfriend and then there's other people and it's just like being in the middle of it all and dealing with it and like he even says it's like yeah, like, I knew this stuff happened. I just didn't think it happened to me. And then his friend's like, well, who'd you think it happened to? He's like, well, I thought it would happen to you. Uh, <laughs> and it's just like, because he's like, literally, he, like, wears, like, a beret, like, or, like, not a beret, yeah, like, a yeah. tangle. And he's, like, super hipster. And it's yeah. just, like, it, it's really good. And it's, like, just filled with great comedians of, like, hmm. everywhere. Like, Jack Breyer's, uh, McBriar's in it as, like, an advertisement. Eddie Griffin and Nicole Byer are 40, like, 40s in a liquor store they're like come on drink us you know you want to do it we definitely want to feel good right. yeah, the roles they were born for yes uh, <laughs> yeah it's i that's the thing like it's there's so much good stuff out there at this yeah. point yeah. it's it's hard to really keep up on it because there's yeah. there's uh i forget what the other show is there's one on a uh, on a. Uh, Amazon Prime also that's called Utopia that I really want to check out, but I have yeah. no idea if it's worthwhile or not. It's the one yeah, about like comic also, right? Uh, I know. I think it's actually an original idea. Like I don't oh. know anything. It's like about a it sci-fi a show with Rain yeah. Wilson, right? I, yep. I know. I know like the cast, and I know it's Jillian Flynn mm-hmm. behind the scenes. I just I pulled it up. I think it's based on a graphic novel. So not a oh, okay. Graphic. Yeah, I didn't. I know a book or something. It. It's on yeah, the original ideas don't, don't exist anymore. Let me talk about yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. everything what everything has to be a comic because yeah. mm-hmm. you know, which reminds yeah. me, there has like to be a comic or a novel or a podcast or something. Isn't there like yeah. didn't Charlize their own do another graphic novel show for Netflix? The movie, uh, I think. the old guard movie, old yeah. guard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. That was yeah. really yeah. fun. Yeah. My wife and I really yeah, liked that. Was that. Very solid. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's I just mean, so much stuff. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, it's you know it's it's almost like these companies instead of waiting to slowly eke it out are like ah shit all right well we got to yeah. make money somehow so let's release this stuff now yeah mm-hmm. yeah there's a ton of good stuff I don't know Hunter have you been watching anything or have you just been staring uh, at the clouds as they pass by your face yeah no I I watched uh, the cabin with Burt Kreischer that show's great oh, oh yeah. I've heard nothing but great it's, things about it it is so funny and I love Burt Kreischer like. It, it, generally he he is one of my favorite comedians and like the dude like that whole show is just amazing i'm so i finished it one night and like i kind of regret i kind of regret doing it but man this show's great Mm. oh is that why the uh, cops came to your house because they were concerned about you yeah that's that's why i think i heard isn't like there's an episode where he has kaylee cuoco yes Somebody like come and talk that like hates Kaylee Woko. No, so what it is is Bert has a friend, Miss Pat. She's a fellow comedian. Oh, she's awesome. I love her. So <laughs> he invites Joel McHale and Kaylee Woko over to his cabin, and Miss Pat takes a giant shit all over her. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> actually, it's the Which, best. If oh, you wait, don't it's... know who Miss Pat is, Miss Pat's like a oh, well, like she's like fifty year old. Yeah. But like oh black com- black woman comedian who has like the most insane backstory, like got pregnant, I think at like fifteen or something like that, oh, and like was selling crack on the streets. Like she has like a crazy backstory. She's fucking hilarious, though. Um, is, uh, is that because I think I'd seen a clip where there was this was probably it where there's this woman talking about like you know it's it's not that I I hate uh, the Big Bang Theory. I just it's just too nerdy for me. I just don't yeah. get it. I don't yeah, understand. No. And then, like, it's exact- it's, she slowly gets worse and worse on what she's saying about it. So I, I believe the, the exact quote is that some white people shit or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. That's great. I will definitely have to check that out. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at it right now. There's like an episode with him, Bobby Lee, and Donnell Rawlings. It, that is one of the best episodes. Yo, and uh, Donnie, just- Bobby Lee and Donnell Rawlings are just two of the funniest people. And like, 
them together is gonna be okay. Good. The picture is just Donald Rawlings walking up to Bert and Bobby Lee in a hot tub. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> and Bobby Lee is like the craziest human being that's ever oh, existed. Yeah. His podcast like, is good. Uh, Oh, it, I'm not like and his stories are just like his mad TV story of like they tried to fire him, but then they realized they couldn't because he like they wanted to fire him <laughs> because he was going through DTs from like heroin withdrawal, I think. Jesus Christ. But like he also were, was the show. Like yes. they yeah. exist without him. Well, yeah. he his withdrawals also included while they were filming he shit himself on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, I feel like with Key and Peele and Bobby Lee, that, a lot of the a lot of the cast is great, but those three kind of like really added a lot. You know? Yeah, and Deborah Wilson, yeah. Deborah Wilson also. Bo- Bobby Lee is like, yeah, yeah, God dear. Yeah. <laughs> so, can, I, can I just can I go on a slight tangent? Uh, so Deborah Wilson is great on Matt TV. She's in like almost every video game now. She is. Oh, she's <laughs> in the Star Wars one that just came out, right? Yep. Yeah, she's great. She's great in Star Wars and Wolfenstein as like major characters, but also like. Yep. She's minor characters in like Fallout and GTA. Like she's going to be in something, something huge too next. Um, I'm trying to think, I, I can't remember what. She's in a lot of stuff. She's I remember, a- I remember seeing her in a trailer for an upcoming game. I don't remember what. It I'm is. pulling up her IMDb right what, now. What she? She's in the oh, trailer. Okay. Yeah, really. she is. Uh, she's in Warcraft, World of Warcraft, Shadowlands. Oh, oh wow! Actually, that's crazy. And what? she's in squad. She's in Star Wars Squadrons. Oh, okay. okay. So she did return in squadrons. Okay, yes. good. And she's good playing for different her. characters. Yeah, it looks mm-hmm. like. Yeah, because that's she's in if everything. Can... Like she's in a lot of shit. Oh, I didn't. She's in. She's one of the voices in Rise of the Skywalker. <laughs> yeah, did really? not know that. Well, like you I know when you hear all the Jedi yeah. voices. Is she playing that character? Uh, I can't remember really. I doubt it. I doubt it. No, it's a different character. Because she's like she does she she plays main characters and she does like. Like Grand Theft Auto, she's like the NPCs, one of them, or she's like Fallout, right. some of the NPCs. Yeah, yeah. so she does like a lot in, of that. Too. Yeah, she does like I'm looking, she's like four different things in Gears Five. She's also <laughs> yeah, going yeah. to be in Bug Snacks. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's that's yeah. there we go, Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it, you know, it that that shows great. Uh, the cabin. Um, there's a great episode, mm-hmm. like in the beginning with uh Caitlyn Jenner, and like, mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. and I've never like. Never like listened to her speak or like knew anything about mm. uh, when she ran the was it decathlon? Yes, Something the Olympic like when yeah. she won the decathlon, the Olympic gold. Yeah, it, it's of course, a show. Lou is the one that knows because yes. Lou likes Lou likes sports. sports. Fucking I'm nerd, sorry. get him! Oh. <laughs> yeah, beat him up. I'm sorry, yeah. stick on the. I only had story. like a Puerto Rican dad, so I watched like baseball and sports. Yeah. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> this guy had a dad. Get him! Yeah. Yeah. I'm Puerto Rican and Korean, so I played baseball and took Taekwondo as a child. Jesus Fucking come out! Sorry, got a fight. Get him! <laughs> Ow! Oh, please me. don't hit me. <laughs> no, um, actually, uh, I I think I read a little bit about the uh, Caitlyn Jenner one because, like weren't the two uh the two guys that were that were on the show with her like they had their minds blown when they when they asked her something about like well when did you know you were a woman and so she's like well when did you guys know you were men or like when you were straight or something along those so what 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 she says is she asked uh nikki glacier um when did you know you're a woman and like that's such an interesting question because like i don't think any of us have ever thought about like that Mm. Like, yeah, I, you only think about like when just, you knew you were attracted to like yeah. you were attracted to. Yeah. Or you didn't know like people tell you like, yeah. hey, you're this is man and what like people teach you about gender, but like that's all you know. Yeah. You, you, you it just it. it's it's interesting to think about. Like it like none of us I'm pretty confident that I I'm a dude, but like I don't know, sometimes well. I knew, I knew I was a man the first time that I was able to get something before a woman could and got paid more than her. And then I, 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 I was a white man when I just looked around and saw everything was coming my way all the time. I love all Eric, day, every day. Everything's coming up. Here. Of uh, like old misogynistic racist man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What right. did you get? Right. Drinking in hand and he's like slapping a woman on the butt. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. From the period of time where he could just, yeah, it's, just 
It's when I closed that glass ceiling and lined it with lead. Because we don't when need I, any women up here. It's when I realize women don't belong in space. That's it's when I realize they can't be superheroes. Yeah. Which Eric, Eric quick, is just Lex Luthor. Exactly. Yes. Ex- except except a, a misogynist. Um, something I wanted to point <laughs> out real quick. Don't you mean Lex Luthor, Eric? Don't you? Mean- uh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah except of, for like the like the Geniverse Lex Luthor. You're just yeah. not that one. You're all the other ones. I'm all well, the I'm other ones. I'm thinking of the Snyderverse Lex. Oh, well, it's no, so wait. I don't know what you're talking about. There isn't one. Oh, well, I wanted to bring up something real quick before we start talking about that. We'll talk taking a dump on it. Um, wait, are, you talking about, are you talking about the movie where they're bringing back uh, the worst Joker of all time? I'm talking about the movie where he I, killed his female assistant. I wanted to bring something up real quick. He was a great actress who didn't have no, nothing to do with that movie. They didn't give her a shit to do with that fucking movie. I you talking about the movie that they're spent the mini series that they're making for HBO that they're spending an extra like seventy million dollars. Hold on, guys. All let, right, let, hold on. Let, let I Eric wanted talk. to bring up one thing real quick. I, I thought. Wait, I'm was... sorry. I'm just gonna keep interrupting because I feel like it's a bit. <sighs> no, it's not a bit when you point out that it's a bit. God damn it! You but that's the bit. amateurs. No, 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 no. no it's still no. <laughs> guys, no. guys, come on. The bit um, is also pointing out that it's a bit. It's very meta. Fucking, does anybody here want to hear Eric's last words before he kills himself on air? Um, Take me with you. <laughs> so, the thing I wanted to point out was I thought it was really interesting that uh, no one in the Marvel pantheon of films really came that much to Brie Larson's defense right? when all the shit was going on with uh, Marvel. Okay. But. How is it that every motherfucker on earth is coming to Chris Pratt's defense okay. when people are I, accusing him of bullshit? People are gonna people are gonna hate me for saying this, but like I, 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 I agree completely that that's bullshit. But like I think people care too much about Chris Pratt. Yeah, he's just a guy. Mm-hmm. He's just a guy. I just I don't know. I thought that was kind of shitty. I like, think I, he's no, just, no, I agree. I it is just, shitty. Uh, part- He's part of a weird, like, weird church in the yeah. region, but it's like, I don't think he's ever, like, done he's anything not, really explicitly, like, yeah. fucked up to anybody. He's not fucking J.K. Rowling, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I think you yeah. could say the same thing about when Evans leaked his dick. <laughs> yeah. Like, that, like, yeah, that, yeah. That, right? That was it's, innocent, though. That was innocent. Like, yeah, but I mean, like, him, him leaking his dick and people sharing it is people like, oh, defending him, it's like, well, the same thing, except only infinitely worse happened to, like, Half of the women in MCU. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And by half, yeah. I mean all of them, basically. Also, right? Eric, mm-hmm. to, to answer your question, it's because Brie Larson hates the the other Avengers. That's... Oh yeah, I forgot because <laughs> right, I've been yeah, watching yeah, yeah, this yeah. YouTube video obsessively in my basement, and the way that Don Cheadle takes five seconds to look like he's upset about something means he hates her. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Or, or <laughs> Brie, Larson, Brie Larson hates men. Or is yep. he, uh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I don't, see, like, I don't know. See, yeah. I, I should write it, I should make a video where I'm like, no, uh, what Don Cheadle's doing is he's remembering. Remember when Terrence Howard was in the MCU? That's what he's doing in those five seconds. <laughs> oh, I remember because that's when he got, so he got that fucking good check from, yeah, yeah, he's, not like, it anymore. Well, he's just yeah, like, that uh, was, he was, he was the biggest actor in Iron Man at the time. Oh, cause... he's just come off an yeah. uh, Oscar nod. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> Yeah, Crazy. yeah, and he hadn't yep. revealed the truth that uh, one times one. <laughs> he's t- he's so- God damn it. God damn it. dude. But uh, back to uh, back to the movie that deserves to be shit on from a great height. Man, what the fuck is going on with Justice League, dude? I don't know. I, I am so morbidly curious. Like, I, mean, I know I really want to watch it. Like. It's <sighs> it's gonna be awful. It's gonna be shit. Yeah, I need to see it now because well, it's not a movie anymore. Fuck. It's it's just as like the mini it's, series. It's a mini series, <laughs> which more, more time for me to waste. Well, yeah. it's so at mo- seems just that it's really two movies. That it's. Justice League, the movie that they were gonna make, and the part two that we heard about, like in 2014 what? or whatever. What? Oh, what? I haven't heard that part. I thought they're just. Look, it's like I'm just clearly based off the this details is what that they've given. This us. is what he's surmising is going on. Yeah. Okay. Because like yeah. they're well, no, the, okay, the details the that are there stuff. are. Yeah, the dark side yeah. stuff was gonna be in part two. We yeah. knew that. It's the we, now they're adding yeah. Leto, which. Why? Like, why in right. all caps, Jared Leto? Because uh, 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 again, 
Darkseed was not in part one, maybe for more than a second. I don't think he ever was. He Let was I, supposed I, to I be in part one. Not in. Is, I, get, I get why they wanted to add Joker, because it's like, hey, we're going to flesh out that there's other characters that are connected. Which is why Jared Leto Joker. Like, Which is why like, Zack Snyder's nothing... a dick. Um, yes. Because he... This is, my, this is what I... The conclusion I came to. He wants to put it in our faces and be right. He wants his approach to the DC movies to be seen as right. No, no. So he's no, going I, down I, I, on every bad choice that was made with the intent being of showing you, no, no, I was right. I was well, right. Hey, my guy, I guess what? Like, so <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody else gets to go back and get an extra 70 million mm-hmm. thrown yeah, at yeah, their movie and then mm-hmm. turn into a four part mini series on a prestige but game. I'm channel. confused. I thought it was already, the, I thought his cut was already made. No, yeah, no, no. No, <laughs> no. no <laughs> this is what's been so befuddling because there was no Snyder cut there never was there was an assembly cut at one point which you could call the snyder cut and it was like five hours um and i thought that that's just what they were doing i thought that they were putting the effects in and then they were going to release i think that's i think that's what warner brothers thought they were doing and then like i think that yeah (laughs) i I think so too and snyder's just like i'm gonna tweet you and then i'm gonna put them in a corner and then jared leto (laughs) showed up and was like i was in morbius (laughs) <laughs> oh wait didn't they isn't what's her name also back like the most non-essential character to anything in any movie yeah uh mara Amber or whatever. Heard? oh whatever, you mean the, yeah. the the domestic abuser yeah yeah, yeah. she's yep. in beds and stuff yep yeah, <laughs> yep she does she's going yep. she's going to come into the, the dc universe and beat aquaman to death yeah she's gonna she's throw just, a toaster at his head she's gonna um, cut off part of his finger with a vodka bottle yeah. <laughs> just, just a scene of her shitting in a bed and then Aquaman walks in mm, shitting on beds huh I do. <laughs> I need it. I, I need how are it. you doing that we're underwater that doesn't make any sense <laughs> yeah but we're also you're talking underwater, underwater. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense either good point yeah. good point <laughs> You out of your mind, Amber Heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I don't I don't understand what this is gonna be other than the, other than I'd said this in the chat, like this strikes me as a purely predatory thing by WB. And I, I mean that in the least mean way possible, that they're like, <laughs> All right, Marvel hasn't had anything out all year. We need to get this done and we need to get this well, out. Time here's, to play catch up, guys. Let's here, go, 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 go. Here's my yeah. problem with that statement. This they announced that before COVID. Like this they thing did. Been, yeah, they but mean, not. They announced that they were going to do a thing, and then the budget went from like, oh, we're going. He's going to get like twenty million to fifty. That, that, that okay, that million. I can see. I can see <laughs> how that. much. So there's another. There's another thing. Apparently, the person who approved that has gone on to say that this was a that it's a boondoggle. That it has not turned out the way that he wanted. And oh then, no! So yeah, even the people at WB are like, "What the fuck is going on?" They're they're in too deep. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, I, I want someone uh, to do the math on how much this thing, the total, has cost. Because it's yeah. got to be like approaching like one point two billion. It's a lot of money. I mean, in right in the end, yeah, this has to be over the billion dollar mark. Because it was probably close to a billion before the this whole thing. With like, well, I mean, if you're if you're including how much money they spent on the movie that was originally released, the movie and, then, and advertising, right? Um, and we're assuming that they lied about how much it actually cost initially. So add a, another hundred million, and then however much this is going to cost. I'm gonna say it's gonna cost. If they're saying seventy, yeah. it's a hundred. Yeah, I, I, th- so like, I think it also just shows how much money Warner Brothers and D slash DC actually has to throw around. Maybe this is why they want to sell the gaming side because they need. Yeah. The this is why they're. <laughs> this is why they're just cutting and slashing things. They got rid of Venture Sorry. Brothers to pay for the Snyder <laughs> cut. Oh <laughs> shit! We have to pay for this movie. Let's fire half of our Wait, comics. Hold up. Our comics. Yeah. Movie. Here's here here. Here's what I'm wondering. If this didn't work out the way they, they were hoping, why the fuck did they give him, like, $500 million or whatever? Okay. All I have to say why is... Why would I, they ever up? give this director that? I, that's uh, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, I'm starting to think there's a reason AT&T is bankrupt. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. maybe. 
I have to say, IMDb is saying it was three hundred million. I call Omega level bullshit on that. Wait, no, it no was way. Million. <laughs> it was for because they're including pre-production stuff, probably for Justice League Part Two that was never released that they canceled. So yeah, four hundred million dollars is probably pretty close because I know that Endgame and Infinity War. It was like a billion. I, Endgame was three hundred fifty-six right? million. So no, say four hundred fifty. That's what they. Yeah. That's what they put out for us to see. But speculation has said for a while that it was over a billion for both movies. Um, well, that would. I mean, that would line up if if going by your your theory that add a hundred million to it. So yeah, that's mm-hmm. round yeah. about five hundred million for each movie. And usually, you add like half of the budget to it is promotion. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, because yeah. we know Marvel doesn't pay any of their actors all that much, with the exception no. of Robert Downey Jr. So uh, he got in yeah. there well, get him until doing. recently. Yeah. Because remember, Robert did. Oh, I know. He he definitely took some for, points uh, off just to yes. uh, pay other people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. During well, they've also got right. most of their people yeah. when they were like no ones. Yeah. To yeah. an extent. To an extent. I would compare it to like in a weird way, like those movies is like signing as like an athlete to a sports team, like. They're on their rookie deals, and when they renegotiate, that's when they get their big contract. Uh, I, I think that's very anything that's very that you're talking accurate. about there because um, yeah, yeah. I mean, just yeah, are, I agree. Very vague understanding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, and they shoot all those baskets, right? That's what mm-hmm. they do. Yep, right. Football. They put all the all the balls in the hoops. They yeah, they yeah. Yeah, touchdown. The okay, I'm just, nerd, yeah. nerd boys. I'm curious at, at what point if the opposing team um, loses, do they kill the head of their uh, of their sports team? Because don't they play it like the uh, the Incans and the Mayans played some of their sports? Well, in 2020, you don't even have to do that. Half your team gets COVID and they die anyway. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, it's it, I I want nothing more in the world than there to be good DC superhero movies, especially yes. the fucking Trinity of Batman, Wonder Woman and Superman. I want there to be good versions of all of them on screen and a good justice league movie. I want there to be good Marvel movies. That isn't what's really happening at this point. And I think Warner brothers mm-hmm. needs to step the fuck back and reconfigure all of this, but they won't. Here's the thing, they did that and they were doing it fine. But now and they took 17 like, steps backwards. <laughs> right. And I think another part of the problem, another part of the problem is that like, so they had a lot of you know some failures and stuff, but also like they've had like Aquaman is an okay movie, uh, mm-hmm. Birds of Prey is a good movie, Wonder Woman is great, and I think those those are great movies, but it's a bad like it's hard to explain. But like the fact that those are successful, they're just like okay, see we can we're on yeah. the up and up, but if you know they're still not like. Yeah, they're, there's good movies, they're, but like, not, and overall, this whole series is not connected or like coherent. The, the word no. of mouth on them is not good. Like the general vibe around them is still not repaired. No. I, but the, I think the, I think they're resting their laurels a little bit. Like, oh, see, we had some successes, so we can just keep popping away. At, but it's like, no, it's just like, but like, still no. Yeah, but like, Birds of Prey yeah. wasn't a success. No, exactly. Well, no, 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 you're right. You're right. Well, yeah, that, no, it, it wasn't. Birds of Prey, I feel, it had its own it, separate yeah. conversation because. I put a lot of the blame for that movie not working on Warner Brothers and their marketing. Yeah. Um, well, it's also the connection it has to Suicide Squad, I think, turned a lot of people off. Because what I was bringing up was yeah. like, I live, like, I have, like, my wife's two little two little cousins who are high school juniors. Mm-hmm. And, like, they're like, oh. And he sounds like, oh, like, I heard there's a new DC movie because they know I'm, like, a comic nerd. And they're like, oh, I hate mm-hmm. those movies. They're so yeah. lame and dark. I don't know. Wow. Like don't care and like that is their feeling on everything dc and i'm like I'm like oh but shazam's awesome it's like but isn't that a dc movie it's like well yeah but like it's not like the others all right i'll wait till it's like online like they mm-hmm. they just like it has this like it has a stink Stigma. to it it has i didn't this... realize it had gone that deep i thought that <laughs> maybe young adults but wow that's i feel like so maybe the people that are really excited about dc still are just millennials and like you know and and people, I say this like these yeah. are this is like two teens that went and saw Venom and loved it. Mm. Well, no, is a um, but like they, I'm saying that as like they like it's not like they have. It's just like yeah. there's that vibe in like that age group of like oh those are movies for like a, like grown ups who are like yeah 
and stuff but like they're that. Not. They're, not they're not movies for human beings. Man children. Um, Which is um, funny because yeah. I think the, those movies are very childish. Oh, yeah. I'm not I'm not disagreeing yeah. with you, but like that's like they're like, oh, those are like those like angry adult movies. Like they're not like mm-hmm. fun. Well, is it to your, to your earlier to your earlier point about how like you know they've had hits and misses and even the stuff that has been well received they've been like yeah this was great we need to go make a bigger movie now like yeah. they're they're confusing that with what marvel has done which has consistently been putting out films even if they're not the best they're still connected yeah. to a larger universe that's going on so even the yeah. few misses don't seem as bad because they have padding yeah. on either side most of the time and mm-hmm. dc yeah, exactly. has like had that like the Marvel movies, they're all like a lot of them are all like very different. Like Winter Soldier is like spy movie, and then like mm-hmm. you know like the Ant Man's a heist movie, but they still all have like a similar like connection. Like there's a vibe mm-hmm. where you can kind of okay, these are all in the same universe. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like yep. yeah. I mean, yeah. you can't go more than two movies without finding one that you will probably either really like or it's your favorite one or it's in your yeah. top list. Like, I'd even say, like, even, like, okay, the ones that are not the best, like, Thor is kind of like, yeah. yeah. But it's still, yeah. like, a watchable movie. What, you don't like Dutch not... angles? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Dutch angles. But even on that note, like, there are some people who really like Thor. So for them, those movies yeah. are great. And mm-hmm. there are some people yeah. who could not give a shit about Captain America. Those people yeah. are what I call They're wrong. crazy. They're but wrong. But that's fine. <laughs> can, I, um, can I point out, I, this is just my opinion, and uh, most people disagree. I think mm-hmm. all the Iron Man movies are like okay, like I, I like them all. And, uh, they're not the best movies ever, but like I, I enjoy them. Yeah, like oh, I, yeah, that's fair. I think yeah, that's like, I, I think they're all solid movies, but they're just like you know not as good as some yeah. of the other MCU movies. But like, I, still like I think them. the I, mean, for, I would say the first one is the only one I would ever argue the, the with se- anyone about. The second one, the second one, I get that like the people don't like the second one because it's like some weird story stuff, mm-hmm. but it's still a funny movie and it's just fun to watch. My bird. My bird. My bird. I want my bird. My bird. Watching them all very recently, <laughs> very close together, the Iron Man movies are closer in quality to each other than a lot of us have been saying for years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're not well, that far off from one another. Iron Man 2 is... Like if, you're, if you're not bad, taking them you know? seriously and you just, like, have popcorn and just... Like, you can have fun watching those movies. They're funny. Oh, like, like what like what Martin Scorsese says about the Marvel movies. Oh, yeah? What did you say? Uh, no, it's... That was... Yeah. That was misconstrued. He hasn't seen and, an MCU movie. Yeah. As I yeah. said, but, when this story happened. You know, you know he hasn't that? seen a single one of them. He's... He, you know, he's referencing... <laughs> The Batman Returns. He's not like thirty minutes of like probably Fantastic Four. Tim Story's Fantastic Four, <laughs> and like, yeah. and well, at least you chose the better of one. X Men of X Men's <laughs> Last Stand, and that's what he's judging it on. The, the like, idea of of Martin Scorsese watching that 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 Fantastic Four movie is hilarious. Um, is I, a, I, 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 I was gonna say, I feel like. Um, it's sad that like Scorsese was like outspoken about that because it's like, oh man, he's well respected and like I like most of his movies. And then like the Irishman came out, and I haven't seen yes. that, but just the clip I've seen is like, damn, this is he's kind of fell off. Like, why did he like De Niro just the stomp with the wrong leg and then the bad camera angle, and they didn't even like reshoot that? Or, like... Yeah, I I <laughs> haven't gotten around to watching the Irishman, but uh, I've I don't I've have four and a half hours uh, to kill. Yeah, him. I don't have six <laughs> hours of my life. Can... I've, well, now I've you seen... do, but well, no, I have to videos. save it for the goddamn yeah. Justice League movie. Okay. I've seen <laughs> movies series. where people have done better deep fakes of DH uh-huh. De Niro than yeah. the money they spent on the special effects for that movie, which just seems yeah. bananas to me. I am wholeheartedly surprised and disappointed that that was where you went with the deep fakes, Eric. No, <laughs> nope. 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 No, no, we're not. No. We're not going there. No, but no. the De Niro yeah. stuff in The Irishman still like it bothers me. Hire a stunt man and then put his yeah. face with a stunt man. Or, it's not. Or, it's not difficult. Well, um, no, I think, hire I think saying, not like, Charlie Cox, bad, but um, but also the acting was weird because like there's one mm-hmm. shot where De Niro's fighting a guy and you can tell that De Niro like made, made a mistake or whatever, and the camera was like mm-hmm. off. As you can see him stop with the wrong leg and it's like it looked like a weak fight. But they couldn't like yeah. did De Niro just be like, hey, fuck you, I'm not doing another shoot or something, like another fucking yeah, probably. Uh-huh. I just think of like whatever. Like, how good does 
Kurt Russell look in Guardians 2 in that yeah. opening. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Bonkers. How it's good like, does Sam it's... Jackson look in Captain Marvel? Like, yeah. How good does he look, period, just in general? Yeah. Just in, well, yeah. Uh, what are you telling us? He's Samuel Jackson. He no, is I mean... the Infinity Stone. <laughs> What you it wasn't until here, I Arlen? saw it wasn't until I saw side by side Captain Marvel and Modern Day Him that I was like, wait, do they need to CG him until I saw <laughs> them back to back? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, well, there is a difference different there. Yeah. yeah. He, he yeah. needed to have a full head of hair and all that whatnot. So He's unbreakable. It, but until I saw it, I was like, why do you need to do anything? It's Sam Jackson. But, He's a, yeah, but you can also great. tell how much money they spent on him and how much money they spent on um What's his uh, name? Is Agent Coulson? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Coulson, who's in there for like five minutes, versus Sam Jackson. And they're like, "Oh, we're just gonna like Photoshop some hair on your head." Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if I remember correctly, uh, in a prior episode when uh, when we were talking about them de aging Sam Jackson and uh, and uh, Coulson, I believe Hunter had said like, "I hope he's wearing a ch- I hope he has a chain wallet, and I hope he has a full hawk." <laughs> and they didn't seem to understand that he wasn't going to be a fifteen-year-old; <laughs> he was actually going to be an adult man. Uh, no, 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 no. He, 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 he should have been undercover, that. Eric. He's oh, undercover yeah. in like a in like the punk scene in the nineties. Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, the punk scene. To be 90s, fair, yeah. I was six years old. <laughs> I was I, I was I, I was I less than a, ten. I don't believe that an age could successfully be an undercover punk. They would. I was you know, I was yeah. I was born in ninety five. I have no recollection of any point. These, <laughs> these dead Kennedy sure do what? don't like the government, do they? When the hell did Captain Marvel take place? Then I thought it took place in like ninety three or ninety four. Yeah, no, it's, it's like ninety five, isn't it? Yeah. So, Hunter, was, you're not even born when that movie takes place. So, what are you fuck. talking about? <laughs> I was 17 when that movie was taking oh. place. No, you were 38. Oh, I, like, I was going to say, like, 138. Hunter, Hunter you're you like, I'm six. I'm like, I'm like, I was six or seven. <laughs> I was uh, not even a baby. I was born in 87. Yeah, I was like a year old. Like, yeah. You were just a tall, tall egg. A oh, tall, tall egg. <laughs> A tall no, egg very, and a tall very just a very sperm. giant. <laughs> That's a really long sperm. <laughs> yeah, he has a very long sperm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, uh. So, uh, oh, go ahead. Because that's not going to be a Photoshop. That face you had on top of a very no, long it's sperm. not going to be a Photoshop. Nobody long Photoshop sperm. that. Yeah, don't do that. If I had a computer, I'd already be doing it. Um, I. Something uh, else I've been doing recently is because I have access to basically every comic that I've ever wanted to read. I uh, started rereading uh, Powers, the oh, Brian Michael Bendis series from years and years ago. It's really good. Like, it's a cop procedural. It's, and it's, it's as good as that TV show was bad. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> yeah. it, has, it has a crazy twist. If I yes, it does. Yes, it does. Like, it also has no ending because oh they no, they actually did back. come out. No, they did come out with uh, the last two issues. Um, I found out recently, which I was able to find. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, uh, right now. there's apparently a trade that uh, came out. I can't remember the name of it. I'll have to look it up. Actually, I'd commented on the uh, Omnibus Collectors group, so you might want to check that, Lou. I think uh, somebody had responded with the name of the final trade in the series. Um, oh, but yeah, yeah, it's it's great. Like it's it's. I want to say it came out like mid to late nineties and, and didn't wrap up until maybe eight years ago, 10 years ago, something like that. But um, yeah, it's, it's just great. It's a police procedural, except it's, there's also superpowers, but they're ingrained in day-to-day life for everybody. So there's a special yeah. powers division of cops that deal specifically with powers related crimes. And that's where the main character, um, uh, Christian Walker, Christian Walker, and Dina Pilgrim mm-hmm. come in, and it's it's good. It's I urge anybody to it's, check it out. It's, it's about so cops, good. yeah, I know, but it's it's really good. It's really worth it, checking it, out. It's, it's kind of like bad. it's What's kind that? of like X Files, but instead of like supernatural, it's superpowers. Uh, yeah, what'd you say, Isa? So was the show that bad? Oh, the show was horrendous. The show was bad. It was a it's a PlayStation system. exclusive. Oh, yeah, <laughs> PlayStation I Plus exclusive. It's um. Yes. What's his name? The South African guy. Yeah, uh, yep. Yeah. Um, he is the exact opposite of the main character in physical appearance. The yeah. only part of that show that is worth watching is Eddie Izzard in the first season. And he's not playing the character from the comics. He's playing something else, but it's just 
Yeah. You're oh, watching playing, Eddie Izzard go wild. Wolf, isn't he? Yes, but it's oh, not no. nothing like the character in the comic. I really what a surprise. Yeah. Well, do, I, does anybody care if I spoil what the twist is? I mean, I, I don't care, but I don't know if anyone else does. It's, it's you, good. You find out like like midway through the series that uh the main character Christian Walker because he used to be a superhero, that's the big thing. Yes. He used to be a superhero and he lost his powers. Um okay. you find out like midway through the series that he's actually some ancient and potentially immortal being that's been on the earth as long he's, as it's been around. He's basically what's his name from DC Comics, kind of. Savage the, the, the Yeah, Vandal Savage. Savage. Yeah. Yeah. Just it's he's it's one of a two. crazy turn because the first ep- issue that they start dealing with that, um, it's taking place in like uh caveman times, not even caveman times, because everybody no, they're is like, like not even Neanderthals, they're like Yeah, they're basically like or something. Yeah, kind of like like next evolutionary step up from apes um and there it doesn't have any actual speaking other than like grunting and ooking and then there's a huge fight in it because the one bad guy kills the his lover woman that that walker was having sex with yeah it's really good though it's i'm telling you it's it, there's it's lots totally of reincarnation it's like mm-hmm. it gets That's into good. some really crazy ass shit but like yeah. all the base level of it it's like crime drama which they in the, that show they sort of get into in the second season and it's bad but like the main case that it starts off with is really interesting like mm-hmm. it's very much like a procedural yeah. comic book but with dealing with superpowers because like the main the story starts off with like a hero like one of the <sighs> biggest heroes is dead and the only witness is a girl he was having sex with who's kind of like a super groupie and the idea is like if you're normal and you have sex with someone who's a super you can possibly get some of the superness in you by taking in <laughs> their uh, stuff for a little uh, while yeah. oh the so that was the, that was the first story where yeah. line in the uh, tv show uh that's where it starts in the tv show okay yeah is it like that's, atlas that's or like, something is the guy i don't know oh, that's I have a question? Like, Oh, go ahead. So wait, the main, the cop guy is the immortal caveman or whatever the fuck. Yes. Yeah. So how, well, so how's that? Like, what does that factor into like changing things? So like, well, that's that's the thing. You don't find out about this until like halfway about through the series. thirty or forty I mean, issues into the series. All, all it just reveals is that this guy's just living a normal life, even though he could have. Well, no, that's the he, thing. Like he yeah. he explains because the like there's six issues or so that are dealing with all of this as you see like his his past yeah. lives so, um yeah. I mean, he, so, is a he started off as a superhero like in this time period where it's like modern day he was yeah. a superhero something happens he loses his powers now he's like a cop, a cop that has no powers but he still kept like the physical buffness like he's a oh. giant brick shit house and he still um, he still has a good rapport with all the superheroes because they knew him because he had mm. been a superhero for a very long time and that's what it deals with in the flashback issues because following the one that uh that's about the apes it's then one that's very conan-esque inspired mm. and it yeah, it goes it to the same thing time. where he eventually runs into the same guy who's always like oh, don't you remember me and you get finally to an issue that takes place i think in the 30s and he yes. meets Albert Einstein and he's talking to him and Albert Einstein just brings up the fact that like, so basically you have the memories because he says like he can remember up to a certain point and then things start to get fuzzy. And Albert Einstein proposes the theory that basically you have the same memory span as a regular human life would. So you can only remember up to a certain point and then everything else is like, if you were a baby, you don't remember it. It's flashes. Whoa. So mm-hmm. it's it's crazy. So that explains why, like, he gets to a certain point and he just he can't remember it anymore. So he doesn't yeah. remember his time as like an ape or like as a crazy warlord or whatever. Like he yeah. he's and there is a differentiation between him and the other guy. But yeah. the other guy does remember everything, mm-hmm. but he doesn't he doesn't maintain the physical attributes that yeah. Christian does. Yeah, and yeah, they also it's... explain that Christian's basically like every. It's a thing that lots of comics well, I have video games I've do. Never, I've never actually finished the whole series, so this is my first time getting a run through the whole thing. Yeah. So I think there's a point where they talk about 
when you learn all that, that like Christian may have been like all the historical Forrest heroes Gump. of past. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't. Forrest Gump. He's part of kind of. Yeah. He's a, yeah, I don't know. I haven't gotten to that point yet. I'm only at a point where where his partner has left because of shit that happened to her, and he's oh, Dina. now. Yeah, and now he's, the other crazy thing is he gets turned basically into the Green Lantern of of this universe. Oh, as well. that's basically the end of where they stopped, like when there was the big, big break. Oh no, no, no! Like, well, that's there's more after that then because there was stuff yeah. that definitely came out for a while after that. I'm trying because there was like when he got those like weird powers is like close yeah. to the end of everything when it took like a hard break. Um. Well, here I have the I have my iPad in front of me. I can figure out which volume that was. Yeah, that was uh, that was like volume eleven or something. That was volume ten, and that was the that was the end of I think volume two of the comic series, and volume three was the stuff that came after that. Yeah, because it also jumped companies too, because it went from yep, image to icon. To icon, yep. But yeah, uh, long story short, I think it's a really great series, and I think more people should read it even if you have to go back because it was showing when Brian Michael Bendis could actually really write well, like it falls into a lot of the tropes of him just filling a page with dialogue, but it's witty and it's done well and it feels real. Like it feels like the type of dialogue you'd expect out of detectives. It's something that like should have made a really, really good TV show. And they Mm -hmm. just, (laughs) but PlayStation got it. So yeah. Well, yeah. And then like, they just didn't get like, there was some, bad casting in it like Mm -hmm. pretty much all the casting was terrible the character that's his like partner is really awesome in the comics and they made her in the show an amalgam of like two or three characters in a weird way well well i mean he got a when uh dina was gone he had a what is it a nika sunrise i think yeah and they 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 combined them basically into one character for the show okay okay that makes sense because so and it's an actress that was in orange is the new black and i think the big reason they did it is because they it's it's like a weird thing where like she's so the character is white in the comics and it doesn't matter that the actress they chose the show is black but like the what they changed about her character in the show is like not racially but that's what a lot of people got on was stuff that like had nothing to do with her race but they completely changed and like gave her stuff from a character who is black in the comics that this character did not need. Oh, so they kind of like mixed characters. Yeah, they made her an amalgam and like they took away stuff from like his partner that was interesting and gave her stuff from this other character who in the comics is black because the actress is black and it yeah. made the it made this her story worse. Because so in the they, comics, they, they, Dina's they, fucking awesome. They did the worst type of amalgam where they yeah. they took the worst aspects of both characters and combined them together instead of taking yeah. the best aspects. Yes, cool. and I suppose I'm bringing up, I, they do it because the actress that they cast is black. And so they gave her aspects from a character in the comics who is black for no and, reason. Yeah. It's, it's the thing that was like, oh, it's cool that they, you know, they didn't care about you know, yeah. hey, you just cast anyone who was good for the role, but then like, hey, give her the black stuff. And it's like, oh, okay. yeah, that's exactly what it is. I, I, uh, is a because like basically it's like, oh, there was they didn't need to change anything because they cast a black actress, but they did. Like, just like, oh, now like her dad's a her dad was a cop, but he was a dirty cop. It's like, well, none of that's with Dina. It's with like the other character. Yeah. Well, isn't and isn't uh, give me the black stuff the name of the porn movie too? <laughs> 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 me and me and Hunter starring in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. We play we play old timey cops, and then we, we, a woman whose husband is missing, and then Hunter's like, "Get out of black stuff." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you play a good cop in black fuck. Yeah. Tall cop, tall cop in black cop. <laughs> one's tall, one's black, and also kind of tall. But <laughs> the show is called The Long Shaft. <laughs> oh, oh no! Give oh, me the God. black stuff. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Has anybody else been doing anything? Uh, reading, watching, uh, I, I doing anything read. interesting? No. Reading. I didn't read. Read. I read. Actually, I did read a fun comic because it's like Halloween time. Um, that Siler suggested to me. It was called um 
Dracula motherfucker. I've heard uh, that's good. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, it's I found it on Hoopla. It's by um Alex DeCampi. It's an image comic thing. And it's basically like it's like a one shot, like kind of I think it's like only like 30 or 40 pages. Um and it's really fun, kind of like 70s disco kind of black exploitation kind of backdrop to this kind of dracula thing so it's a blackula no oh your main character is black and main character in like quotes it's like very short-lived um because it's only like it's not that big of a story um Mm -hmm. and basically it's like oh the brides of dracula tricked dracula at some point and sealed him away and then somebody unseals him and so the brides have been alive this entire time and they kind of set our character up, who's a crime photographer, and he's the like the black character, to like kind of intercede into this whole resurrection of Dracula. Okay. And the art is awesome, and it's really trippy and fun. And if you like kind of like that 70s kind of disco-y vibe, like black exploitation stuff, it has like a really cool vibe of that. Nice. Yeah, and besides yeah. that, yeah. Uh, like, don't really I mean, want... I've mostly been watching movies. That's, like, been the primary thing I've been doing, and it's been a lot of rewatching. Um, because I recently got a gig, got a job. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that that's taken up most of my days, so it's a lot of podcasts and YouTube you know, that I downloaded and stuff. Well, have, you, I, uh... have you heard about a service called Quibi? Like the, uh, oh, yeah. The that, you know, I think, I think Quibi Arlen is the exactly only person on Earth or who Quibi is marketed to. Uh, uh-huh. and, or, sorry to interrupt real quick. Uh, is I just posted a picture of uh, what, what uh, Christian and Dina look like from the comic, and the guy on the right is who Charto Copley was supposed to be playing. Okay, that's yeah, that's, not... <laughs> that's not right at all. No. What is yeah. with what is this? Is the thing where people cast Char- Charto Copley in roles that he shouldn't be in? Um, this happened with the Old Boy remake, where he plays the mm. guy trying to get revenge, uh, um... which. <sighs> and i just shared um, what the cast of the show looked like oh no. Oh no. so the woman the woman in the middle is the one who's playing his partner in that cover although yeah. it has all, and that's eddie izzard and then the the guy all the way on the right the guy that's in every tv show no Noah taylor no Noah taylor yeah yeah, yeah he yeah. plays yeah. He, he was a uh, hitler in um preacher yeah yep. yes he was yes. Good actor. So I'm yeah, guessing the girl, the girl between uh, who's supposed to be Dina and uh, Noah Taylor there is the one who's the new version of Retro Girl. And who yes. is the woman in red to the left? That's of... Retro Girl. No, that's not. Yes. That's not. No. The no. only thing that I like that they did is in season two, because season two starts with the murder of Retro Girl, is that, oh my God, what is the name of the character? Because Michael Madsen plays the character. <laughs> Michael Madsen, that's great. What the fuck? Um, Is he, sober? he plays shit. What the hell is this character's name? No, don't give me dot dot dots on IMDb. Um, he plays like yeah, how the... dare IMDb? Um, that's what Retro Girl looks like in the comic. That's, that's the second that one. The that's Retro Girl no, two. No, that's the first one. That's the second one. Nope, that's from the that's from the uh, flashback issue where uh, you find out how Christian lost his powers because she's talking about Johnny uh, Johnny Royale gathering a bunch of guys together to fight them. Yeah, Johnny Royale is the guy from what the do you teleporter, call it? but that's that's yeah, but no, yeah, that's, I, the, I know what I'm talking about. I just read yeah, that issue earlier today. What's her name? Her costume when she gets it looks like that. What? Except she doesn't have a skirt. <laughs> what? Why did the cigar chomping executive make this? Yes, because the, 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 you gotta the, see the, her belly. So it's it. Uh, the, the oh, people it, it okay is this. Here, here's the, her with Michael Madsen. The people who okayed this were the movie executives from King Kong. That's yes. 
Will there be boobies? We have to see the lines of a tits. I know. <laughs> the kids will love it. The kids will think it's the hottest thing ever. I know. I was a kid in 1899. Dude. <laughs> yeah, well, that actually is kind of accurate to what her costume looked like in the comics. Because that the, po- the picture I just posted is Callista's. As Retro Girl too, And, oh, the her. guy no. that Michael Madsen is playing is the one that, like, kicks off the fact that uh, the United States declares powers illegal. He's yes. the one who's, like, a he's a god, essentially, and destroys, yeah, so like, in, the in the season two, the Pope. <laughs> they basically do what you were talking about with Christian, with him, where he's basically immortal, but he's been alive for so long that he's going senile. And so he's basically a god that's going senile. And then when Retro Girl gets killed, he just, like, loses all connection to humanity. It's pretty great. It's pretty great, because in the comics, yeah, he uh, destroys the Gaza Strip. He uh, melts down the Pope and destroys the Vatican. Um, I think he does all that, and he does a bunch of that in the show. And basically, Christian's like, oh, you had this enemy, I'm this enemy, and they... He's like, the only way you can beat me is if you fly me into the sun and basically it tricks him. And that's how the series ended. Okay. Yeah, that sounds wow. stupid. Yeah. What a great yeah. show. Yeah, it sounds really, really bad. Thanks, Sony. Yeah, they're great. They're great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's that's our powers hour. Um, I don't know. What, <laughs> have you, what movies have you been watching recently, Island? Because I know you mentioned that you've been watching some, so... Yeah, um, well, I mean, one that I know that you watched was, uh, mm-hmm. what the fuck was that one? The Books of Blood? Yes. Um, yes. that was all right. That was, that was solidly in the all right category. Um, it was, it was better than I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a, a lot of the, uh, I thought the individual stories were interesting stories. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I, feel like they all fit together perfectly i mean obviously the final story is like a direct continuation Mm -hmm. um that first story feels a little bit uh, off of left field um but which one which one was the first story i can't remember the first story is the the, i'll just say the oh yeah yeah i know i remember now I remember that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to give any spoilers for that one because... Yeah, the, the girl that has the crazy hearing thing going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know exactly what yes. you're talking about. Yep. Um, but yeah, like, it, they're all interesting. The casting is all interesting. Um, but the, the middle story, I think, is maybe the best one out of all of them. I like that the most. I thought the way that they handled that, when he, like sees all the ghosts on the entire planet, and they, mm-hmm. like destroy his mind and body like mm-hmm. that was a cool, <laughs> that was cool yeah no that was that was definitely good well i I'd, I'd yeah. heard that there's actually a adaptation of it on amazon prime i think oh like a different version of it because i posted something about watching it and somebody said like i hope this is better than the one i saw on amazon let me see huh yeah that, there yeah. might have been like an unofficial one that somebody did because that happens on amazon like you can find stuff uploaded there that not by the rights holders like all the time i mean this is this is an actual movie from film rise is the name of the studio so yeah huh. it, it exists it's just apparently it just decides to tell the one story I don't know. Sounds terrible. Well, I'd, I guess maybe we should just wrap up because I feel like we're just kind of spinning our wheels at this point. Uh, wait, can I point out a few things I watched? Uh, oh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Vampires vs. the Bronx is pretty funny. It's like a, it's kind of a kids movie. Yes. It's a funny like thing on the Netflix. Okay. Okay. And, yeah, uh, I, I haven't I haven't heard now. anything about it, so I wasn't. I've sure only heard good things. things. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a fun. It's a fun movie. It's not like yeah. it's for kids, so expect you know kind of kid humor, but it's still a good movie. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's yeah, it's solid. Yeah. Um, um, I also watched the uh, the autopsy of Jane Doe, which is I did oh, yes. kind of twist because I think people like us that like watch a lot of sci fi shit and like supernatural stuff, we kind of like could see the twist coming in that movie. Well, have you have you never seen it before? Yeah, it was the first time watching it, and I kind of predicted like I was like, oh, I know what she is, and then yeah. I, was, I was right. Yeah, 
Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I I just enjoyed watching Brian Cox mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, yeah. Emil Hirsch okay. chew up scenery with that movie. It was a that ton was of fun. Idea. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the third yeah. third thing I watched. Yeah. You're gonna uh, what's the Adam Sandler movie? <laughs> Oh, oh, whatever, oh like you, Halloween you, movie. I had yeah. to turn um, that off, but if you liked it, that's fine. No, but surprisingly, I had low expectations. It's really stupid, and, and but it's actually fun. Like if you're, if you're not, like I was going into it, like I'm gonna make fun of this movie, and I did, but mm-hmm. it's still like a, wasn't as bad as I was expecting. It was like a dumb fun movie, but it's like, you know, I, I think yeah. I, I think I wasn't expecting much. I had it was, it was fun to watch. You know? You know, I'd, I don't know. I've I've been tempted to go into it because, I mean, I enjoyed Adam Sandler's, like, earlier films, which yeah. sounds ridiculous to say in when I just said it out there's, loud. There's but... legit Those movies are in my DNA, watch. so, like, yeah, yeah it's yeah. Yeah. it's very it's, hard it's fun to, watch to see other, Watch it with other people. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Good other people? You're not, you're not yeah. allowed to do that. What what, are you talking what about? I don't know what other people are. <laughs> I'm calling the cops. I'm going to need you to... Um, but yeah, no, I... <laughs> I got like forty minutes into Hoobie Halloween, and there were a couple of really good bits. Um, there's some genuinely funny shit, but there's also a lot of dumb shit. Yeah, it's like yeah. Well, like Keenan Thompson, like I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't recognize him. <laughs> yeah, like that was good. And then Steve Buscemi, he's like, when he asked him about his age, he's like, so how old are you? And that weird voice is like, in human years. Um, just not not even pretending, not even hiding. Yeah. Um, that was that was good. And then there were a couple other moments. That I was like, oh, that's genuinely kind of funny. Yeah, there's um, a genuinely funny shit, but it's still a goofy goofy yeah. movie. But it's yeah. just like a weird goofy movie. Yeah. Oh, hey, this is uh, this is apparently somewhat breaking news, and it's not uh, related at all to what we've been talking about. But oh. um, uh, chief of staff for Vice President Pence tests positive for COVID nineteen. Oh man! Mm. Oh. Happy Halloween! Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, other stuff. I mean, I, I've watched like almost everything Shutter has. Not everything, everything they were they came out with a bunch of Spanish and Castilian movies. I haven't seen, but I watched that movie, The Cleansing Hour. Um, mm-hmm. That one's that one's solid. Uh, it's got some pretty good stuff. I feel like I say that with the notation that exorcism stuff is just generally kind of boring. So if I see it and I don't hate it, it that's automatically up a level for me because it's like, how many times can I see the same fucking shit over and over again? Um, so that was good. Uh, the Mortuary Collection, which is like an anthology, that's pretty fun. Um, mm-hmm. Clancy Brown is in it, and he he is eating the scenery. He's gone back to Highlander one. My wife and I started to watch that, and just uh, we weren't we. It's not that we thought it was bad. It's just our our attention mm-hmm. span wasn't there for it that night. So I need to that's go back fair. and revisit it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. We got like twenty minutes yeah. in, and I was like, all right, I'm just I'm not paying attention to this. I need to find something else to do. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. By and, the way, did you ever go back to the shed or not? Did you guys just no nope out on that completely? The shed? Uh no, I didn't. I didn't ever go back. I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I just. I don't. Yeah, I only have so fair. much time on this earth. So no, I well, didn't. I didn't go back to it. Yeah, that's uh, well. So when you guys told me that you like noped out on the dream sequence, I was like, if I wasn't half drunk and I didn't want to get up, I probably would have noped out as well. Yeah. That, that dream sequence because it's not a good, well done dream sequence that gives you all the clues you need to know the dream sequence. Yeah, it kind of no. like waits till the last minute to to, to reveal that. Um, yeah, so yeah, maybe I'll go back to it at some point, but as of right now, like I've said, there's yeah. there's so much stuff <laughs> out there. I don't I don't I think like, I'm. Oh oh oh! Uh, I've seen um a quiet place mm-hmm. and I liked it. It's pretty good. Oh really? Oh. You've never seen that before? No, like oh wow, yeah. First yeah. time, a couple of, like last week, I watched it first time. That movie's great. Hopefully, yeah. the sequel will actually come out at some point because I thought it was yeah. Done. <laughs> COVID, <laughs> COVID, like you know, hey, don't make don't make shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty right. much. Hey, you had a plan? Nope, fuck your plans. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Does uh, anybody else have anything they wanted to bring up, I, or do we want to wrap I, it? I, I got nothing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. All right. Let's, let's, let's get out of here. Okay. All right. 
All right. Zoom, zoom. Plugs or anything? Or does anybody... I, I, okay. Yeah. yeah. Waiting for you. All right. That's just... That's a, a Lost Hour podcast. A weekly-ish show. Uh, I believe our season is going to be ending sometime in November. Maybe a couple Christmas specials. A couple more Bond episodes uh, with uh, people who are here, who are presently here now, uh, later on down the line. So I uh, look forward to all that. I think that's all I got. All right. Uh, I'm Eric Fedorchik. You can find me on Instagram at Eric underscore Fedor. There's also Cats and Food and Comics. Phantom Zone, doing things there. Um, and I've recently decided that I want to start remaking movies, but mashing them up with names of actors and actresses and films. So the first in my uh, new line of films will be uh, Kirsten Dunstan checks in. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll have to figure out some more for that, but that was the first one that came to mind. So would, that, would she be playing the orangutan? I don't know. I don't know. You I thought it was about, about Jeremy, <laughs> well, Jeremy Iron Giant. <laughs> oh, I feel like oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's really I feel like good. the only way to, to to use all of the dunce is for her to play everybody or her <laughs> black style. Um, so yeah, children, I, adults. I like I like her in an ape suit, but her face <laughs> is still available. <laughs> so it's just in her oh, face, Kurt in Dunstan. Her play, so it's, uh, it's, it's kind of like that. Uh, what's his name's version of Planet of the Apes? Oh God, yeah. Tim Burton. I mean, Tim Burton. Well, I yeah. just thought of another suggestion. Kirsten Dunst plays the building, which in your version is alive, like the 1977 movie House. Um, uh, so yeah, you could do that. That'd be. Wait, are you are you talking about? Oh, okay, never mind. I'm thinking of the movie yeah. House that has uh, the greatest American hero actor. No, no, no. Okay, no. yeah. This is, no, the, this is the one with the cat that uh, in the house that eats people. Yeah. Oh, House um, H A or yeah, House yes, or whatever yes, it is in yes, the Japanese title. Yes. Yep, I know exactly mm-hmm. what you're talking about. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that movie's crazy. Yeah, so that's yes, it for me. <laughs> God damn, Jeremy Iron Giant. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out one with Michael Ironside. I've, Maybe yeah. you just remake. What was that TV show where there was a detective in a wheelchair? Is like uh, Ironsides. God, oh, maybe. Uh, yeah. But you just I have mean, it be Michael Ironsides. One that just came <laughs> so to me. Uh, I wrote I Robert Downey Jr. Um, that's a that's one you can take. <laughs> just, just, just uh, yeah. Um, I did not murder him. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah Hunter, it's... I think. He he busted out. He had to go to sleep. His uh, blood flow had run down. Oh. And yeah, at Lou, you're right. It's a 1967 drama about a tough San Francisco police inspector which who's paralyzed in a shooting incident. So yeah, yeah. Uh, Michael Michael Ironsides, except he plays the wheelchair that the guys roll. Yes, around he's yeah. not actually the, he's not the detective. He's just no. the chair. Yes, yeah. but he has his wig from Highlander too. And um, he's he's drunk as fuck the whole time. Um, yeah. Yes, like in Highlander too. <laughs> um, uh, Lou, did you have any plugs? Um, yeah, if the gods allow us, we are because we've tried to do it twice now. We are going to be watching um, Demon Knight tomorrow, and nice. that'll come out. And then we are going to finish our like spooky Halloween comicy movies with the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which I think I'm the only one who's actually seen in our group. I've, I've uh, seen. Yeah, well, I mean, like, yeah, and the you people mean in general, or the people who are going to be on the people who are going to be on. Okay. I don't think because I have them seen. Seen. <laughs> which oh, has no. to call back. Uh, I believe Rucker Howard is one of the villains. I believe he is. Yeah, I think he's one of the main vampires. See? Yeah, yeah, and yeah baby so Luke, because baby uh, Luke Perry. Because yeah, Donald and... Sutherland plays the um the the teacher the Van Helsing. Type oh, it has an insane cast. Yeah, it's got Pee Wee yes. Herman in it. Yeah. 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 He's also when Dunstan checks in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, he was. Yeah. <laughs> Sutherland, yeah. Rubens, uh, Rucker Hauer, Luke Perry, Hillary Swank, David Arquette. Hmm. Yeah. This. <laughs> what? I don't know. Somebody said to come on, so I guess we have to move on. Uh, Is that? Uh... Oh, was that? <laughs> you have any plugs? plugs? If you have any. Um. No. No. <laughs> uh, no you don't, you don't <laughs> want to get Twitter famous. <laughs> Okay. I mean, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, you, could play you can at younger, young. I was gonna say you can Kame. follow is at young underscore Kame and send yeah. him all your you know furry wolf things, 
uh, the next season of, sure. of B Stars. Yeah. Um, how and much any, Punisher and Moon Knight suck balls? And find any uh, find anything about Vor that has tummies eating things because we've discovered <laughs> yeah. that's that's a thing that goes on. So yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And if you're a tall girl, just don't even bother messaging. No. Damn. No. Yeah. And no, young Kame does not want anyone to step on him. Nope. It's not this game. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. No, no, no. He wants to be fluffed like a pillow, which is kind of the opposite of, uh, of uh, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> wants him to grab him by the legs and shake him like a dirty sheet. Um, yeah, I guess with that, we should, uh, we should probably sign off, everybody. Yeah, right. Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. Bye. Bye, everybody. I had to wait 300 years for a virgin to light a candle. Yeah.